So, hey, friends, I wanted to hop on and show you how you can get to our free resources. And I'm just going to open up a new web browser, and we're going to go to twcontrols.com. And you're actually going to see two that kind of look like what you're looking for. We have the PLC training section, and you have the courses section. Well, the PLC training, that is our in-person training. Probably, I've always tried to figure out what I should name that. But our courses, that's the online courses, and these are free resources for you right here. And if I just click into the Connected Components Workbench, then we have a progress bar going along here. And I'm just going to grab downloading your software and connecting. And this will walk you through that. And whenever you're done, you just hit the next lesson button. Now, there's been a couple questions that came up, um, and that's why I wanted to go ahead and hop on and talk about it, because we just converted to this this week, and um, I think we have most of the kinks worked out, but there were a few questions compared to the old platform. First of all, why do we even have this? You know, we, um, you know, early on, it was kind of easy. We'd add a video, and there was an obvious place to insert it, but, you know, we have, I think, 1,200 videos now, and so it's not really obvious the transition sometimes between the videos. So about three years, we three years ago, we added a course platform and it worked okay. It gave us a way to kind of give some structure, but it did require that you logged in and it was quite expensive. So we, we kind of made it an average. You paid the average. So the more people signed up, you know, the less the course was. And, you know, we, we never really liked that part. We wanted it to be free. So we are eating the cost of all this now and we're bringing all the courses back for free which a lot of you praised, a lot of you already complained about because you're like, no, no, I wanted to pay to support. So as of today, there is no way to really support the courses. But if you're interested in that, there is the membership area over on the channel. So on what you're watching right now, um, there, you know, usually you get up on the home tab, maybe you look at our videos, but there's a membership tab there and there's an opportunity to support us there. But Really, the biggest way you can support us is hitting that like button, you know, doing the comments and not just commenting for commenting, you know, tell us, you know, what you think about the video, give us some constructive feedback and yeah, hitting that subscribe button. But yeah, the um the other piece of it, and honestly, I kind of want your opinion on is a lot of you said, well, how are we going to know when stuff comes out now? And I don't fully have the answer to that yet because right now yeah you sign up for a course I, I get a button there and I hit that button and I send um an email and you know what's happened with this since there is no sign up one we are not tracking any of your information I think in today's world that is a plus but the downside of that is yeah we're not tracking any of your information so we have no way of knowing where you're actually at in this course and what you need so I added a lesson here near the top, get updates on your course. And if you would like updates on this, then simply put your email address in and hit the yes button and hit submit. And we will do some type of updates about the courses. I'm not really sure what that looks like yet, but a little bit about the courses. So we have courses, let me go back to the main. And as far as our main PLC courses, we have our Studio 5000 courses. That's for the Compact and Control Logix PLC. And so that would be this L18 version of ours and the Compact Guard Logix 5069. And then we have the Micro 800 Connected Components Workbench Lessons, which covers the Micro 850s, the Micro 820s. It also covers your PowerFlex 525s and your PanelView 800 lessons. And then a lot of, you know, we call these PLC trainers, but these are actually really good industrial control wiring trainers also. So there's a lot of good content in this about basic electricity and doing some basic circuit exercises with your power flux drive and with your switches without actually including the PLC. You know, I bounce back and forth from this course right here. It's an old, oldie but goodie course. Here's our RS500 course. And... We're, we actually, I say we're not, we, we just did some videos on this. Uh, we had someone who needed some videos on integrating it with uh, Connected Components Workbench and Studio 5000. But for the most part, we're not going to update this one much anymore. If you're looking for free software, 
I would go towards the Connected Components workbench now. And then this one, we finally combined. Um, we had, um, we had a, a series, which I'll show you down below in a second, on control panel building and um, executing an automation project. This one I say is almost built out. So we've merged our courses that we had on UL 508 control panels and on planning and automation project, because I thought that was a really good series that kind of gets you to the next level. Now, I'll occasionally scroll down here because we have the lessons in development courses. And these right here, the more that you interact with, the more likely we are to do more lessons on. Right now, we're, um, we're doing some in inductive automations ignition, and we're doing Siemens TIA portal. At this point, we feel this one will definitely become a course on its own. Uh, the ignition one, it depends on, I, I'm really enjoying working with ignition, but it may get merged into the, the PLC courses, or it may be a standalone course. But look down here, you'll kind of see what we're planning and what we're experimenting with. But anyway, if you're on the old course platform, then I'm going to give you a short amount of time. I can't really say what. I'm just going to watch the traffic. But go ahead and, you know, start transitioning over the new one. Just look at your check boxes on the old one. Check the boxes on the new one. And, um, yeah, get out there and get learning.